Today on our 2011 Ram 3500, we'll be taking a look at and installing the Curt Custom Fit Class 5 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Part number C15809. And here you see our hitch installed. It's going to have that nice black powder coat finish that's going to help prevent any kind of rust and corrosion, as well as be fully welded all the way around with those extra heavy duty gussets down here at the bottom and plate steel for your chain tie downs with that two and a half by two and a half receiver tube opening and five eighths inch pinhole going straight through. This receiver hitch is gonna be unlike the stock receiver hitch that you see here. In the fact that it's gonna have a 2,700 pound tongue weight capacity. That's gonna be the maximum downward force that you're gonna be able to put right here on the end of the receiver tube. With this receiver hitch, you're gonna have excellent towing capacity at 20,000 pounds. That's gonna be your trailer with everything loaded up in it going right on down the road. Now it's gonna be the same whether you have it with or without weight distribution. And it mounts up super easy with no extra drilling or anything else with three mounting points on each side. Now we'll go ahead and give you a few measurements to assist you in selecting for hitch accessories for your new receiver hitch. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground, it's gonna be about 20 inches. From the center of the pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be about four inches. First thing we're gonna do is get underneath the back of our vehicle. You can see that we do have that factory hitch here on our vehicle because it's gonna be welded and that new hitch is gonna come underneath of it. Locate our mounting points for our new receiver hitch, which is gonna be the big hole located here and the big hole located here. You're gonna have two different types of blocks. The skinny one is gonna to go towards the front and the larger one is gonna go here at the rear. It should be about like so on the other side of the frame rail. Now for this front mounting location, we need to get the skinny block into position over the hole. So what we'll do is we'll put a small little hook on the back side of our pull wire, and we're gonna push it all the way out the back of the frame rail. And once we have it out the back of the frame rail, we'll go ahead and hook on Go ahead and pull it through until we get it over the pole. Once we get it over the hole, we can then pull the fish wire out. We'll invert it to where the coil goes out of our, through our block and out the access hole. Once we're out the access hole, we'll go ahead and thread on that carriage bolt. Slide it into the frame rail and pull it through the mounting location. Now we'll go ahead and put in that big square block at the back. Go ahead and slide it over the rail. We can do this by hand. Once we have it over, we can then drop it down like so. We'll go ahead and get our other fish wire going through the hole once more with the coils. And we're gonna go up and into this hole up here where our receiver hitch from the factory comes out. Thread it on and pull it down. Let's go ahead and repeat that same process on the passenger side. Now we'll go ahead and raise our new hitch up into position. Line it up with the bolts that we put into those mounting locations. Now for our short bed trucks, we're gonna utilize the backmost hole here at the front. Our long bed trucks, we'll get the one towards the front. And once we have the bolts through the holes, we'll go ahead and put on our flange nut and just thread them on loosely. And we'll thread on the other one, and then we'll go over to the other side and hand tighten those as well. Go ahead and tighten down the two carriage bolts and flange nuts here on each side. Now we'll go ahead and torque the two outer bolts on each side to manufacturer specifications before we put through the hex head bolt located there. And then we'll proceed. All right, now we're gonna place our hex head bolt and flat washer through the top hole and through the frame. If you look here, there's gonna be a gap. So we'll use the spacers to in between the gap so that we don't bend our bracket. Put the spacer in between the two 
press it through and then put our flange nut on the opposite side. Now that we have it tightened, let's go ahead and torque it. And that will do it for our review and installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 5 Commercial Duty Receiver Hitch, part number C15809 on our 2011 Ram 3500.